Currently, my family is getting to know one another. It's weird because you have this person in front of you and then they're like, you're family and you're related and you know, families are usually close and they do things for each other and so it's like we're doing that for a stranger. That's what it feels like to me. I first went into foster care when I was six years old and I was placed in a temporary foster home until I was placed into like a more permanent home. I'm not in foster care anymore because I'm just too old to be in it now. I'm 19 years old and I go to San Francisco State University. I never wanted to be in foster care when I was a kid and like my plan was always to leave and I did when I was 16. Because of the way I grew up, it was just kind of me and my books. When I was younger, my escape plan was that I was going to go to Hogwarts and I was like 11 at the time and I really wanted to get out of foster care and I really thought my letter from Hogwarts would come but it didn't. And I waited when I was 12, I was like, oh, Dumbledore, maybe he forgot about me. <laughs> By the time I was 13, I was like in tears because I knew that Dumbledore was gonna like forget about me. And so I must have been a muggle. So I'm just gonna have to live with that. When I read Harry Potter, I felt like I was at home and that like Hogwarts was my my second home, kind of like Harry. And I felt like the main characters were my friends and my family. When I was in foster care, I did have a relationship with my, my birth mother. They would schedule visits and we would hang out with our parents or whatever. And when I say we, I mean my sister and I. And so we'd go visit them. And we wouldn't visit my mom at the same time as my other brothers. So that's why I know them a lot less and I know my sister a lot more. We kind of have like the resources to be together because we're all older and we're no longer in a foster home. And so we have the freedom to go and visit each other and have these family get togethers because you know, everyone's like stable and my mom is like stable too. So she's no longer in a rehabilitation center. And so we can go and see her. My family and I bond. <laughs> um, we would, we would sometimes have like get-togethers, like when there's like a huge boxing match or the Super Bowl is an example that just passed, and we like all come together in my brother's apartment and we would do things that families do, like sit together and tease each other and ask about school and work and take pictures. I kind of have this dream for us. It'd be really great if we can all live together in this really big house, kind of like how I wanted when I was a kid. Like, it's not too late for that. So I'm hoping that in the future, someone's gonna get like rich. I think that's me, that's gonna be me. And I'm gonna buy the huge house for all of us. And we're all gonna live there and we're all gonna like know each other and we're gonna like have that family thing.